Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we'll be going over the top five mistakes you might do when you clean your wheels. As you guys can see, I'm at the Chemical Guys Super Flagship Shine Store. It's big, it's massive. I'm gonna get all my detailing products and then I'll meet you guys at the bay. We'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so we just left the Chemical Guys flagship shine store and now we're back into the detailing bay. And as you guys can see, I actually have this gloss black Honda Pilot wheel. The, the tire is dull, it's tire blooming, it's turning brown. The wheel has seen better days. This is a daily driven car. Now, to start off with the first mistake a lot of people do out there on the market is they clean a hot wheel. You do not want to clean a hot wheel. You want to make sure the wheel is cool to the touch. The reason being is if you start spraying water on a hot wheel, the rotor, the caliper is going to cause heat, it's going to cause steam, and then choosing the right product is going to be a key factor. But before we get into choosing the right product is you spray a hot wheel, you start using your wheel and tire cleaner or your wheel cleaner, and what ends up happening is the chemical is going to have a reaction, it's going to pit its wheel, so always prevent that. If you just got home from a daily drive or you just got home from the grocery store and it's time to clean your wheels, I recommend you letting it sit for at least 30 minutes to an hour so the wheel, caliper, everything could cool down and whenever you spray water onto it, you won't have steam everywhere or your chemical won't have a chemical reaction. Now, number two is choosing the right product. Choosing the right product might sound very simple. To start off with, one, you need to know exactly what type of wheel finish you have. Two, you need to know if it has any type of coating. Three, you need to know exactly if your wheel is delicate. Four, you need to keep just inspecting as you go. To start off with, today we'll be using Sticky Stitches Wheel Gel. Now, Sticky Stitches Wheel Gel lands in the middle of the Chemical Guys wheel care. It's not too harsh, not too soft. It's, it's strong enough to tackle dirt, ground, debris while sudsing up amazingly without har harming or causing any corrosion to the wheel. It's simply going to clean it, bring back the shine, bring back the reflection we want. Next up, the third mistake a lot of people do is choosing the right brushes to use on your tires. So right here, I have three different types of brushes that can be used on your wheel. To start off with, all of these brushes might look the same, but the bristles actually change. To start off with, we have the green wheelie flag tip brush. The wheelie flag tip brush is soft and supple. So every time I use it paired with my sticky stitches wheel gel, it's simply going to help me foam up the wheel compared to something that I might use on the tire is something much more rough. So if you guys hear, the nylon bristles are much more rough, so whenever I come to scrub the tires down, it's going to actually remove all the tire blooming, it's going to remove previous dressings. So like this, I have a true clean, and whenever it's time to apply a tire shine, it's actually going to bond properly. And nonetheless, for the intricate details, we do have the board chair detailing brush. The board chair detailing brush, whenever you push down, the bristles actually open up. So imagine my hand is a lug nut. Whenever you push down and you start scrubbing it, you guys can see how the bristles flag, uh, flag up and it's going to get into the tight cracks and crevices. Nonetheless, it's going to achieve a true clean because when it comes down to clean your wheel, you want to achieve a true clean. So our next stop on this mistake and wheel process is going to be number four. It's going to be clean your wheels often. So what I have noticed, a lot of people have chrome wheels, gloss black wheels, or any type of wheels, as they drive their car, drive, 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 and they say, I'll get to my wheels later. And then once you come back to clean your wheels, you start noticing the brake dust is actually eating away the wheel finish. That's right, brake dust can actually eat the wheel finish, and over time, unfortunately, anything you might use on your wheel is not going to remove that corrosion. That's completely done. Your wheel has been contaminated, it has caused corrosion. Now you need to refinish your wheel. So always constantly, at least once, twice, or even three times a month, clean your wheels, remove the brake dust. Like this, you have amazing wheels. They're always shining, they're always glistening. And whenever you're driving down the road, you have that, wow, that perfect shine you always want. So now it's time to get into the wheel cleaning process. So how do you actually use Sticky Stitch Wheel Gel? Sticky Stitch Wheel Gel is fairly simple to use. What I like to do is I actually like to remove the sprayer top 
So all of our sprayer tops actually have this Loctite. What the Loctite does, it's going to prevent any spills or leak leaks whenever you have it sitting on your on your countertop. So if you do want to remove the Chemical Guy sprayer top, just get a pair of pliers, squeeze the neck, remove it, and you're good to go. So what I like to do is I actually like to get my Sticky Citrus Wheel Gel, add about one ounce into my wash bucket, and the rest inside my sprayer top. Now, the reason why I want to add Sticky Citrus Wheel Gel into my wash bucket is because I want extra lubrication for my brushes. I want extra foam because whenever I see foam, I'm in the zone. So then I'll get my pressure washer on, I'll activate the suds, and like that, anytime I grab any type of brush, it has lubrication, same thing on the wheel. So to start off with, you always want to pre-rinse the wheel, just to remove any loose ground debris. Now on camera, you guys can see the wheel, I mean the tire is still looking brown, but the wheel is still dull. So a lot of people call me out for this, especially to you, Joey, is you always do the finger test. And I like to do the finger test so I can show you guys how dirty this wheel actually is. So I, even though I sprayed the wheel down, you guys can see that this wheel is still filthy. So I'll get my sticky citrus wheel gel. I'll make sure it's on spray mode, not stream. And now I'll spray it all over the wheel. And now moving on to mistake number five is degreasing your tires before you apply any tire shine. So if you have not tried our Total Extract, I recommend you do so. Total Extract not only is going to remove tire blooming, it's going to remove all that gunk away from your tires. So, so like this you achieve a true clean. So spray Total Extract throughout the whole entire tire to ensure you achieve a true clean. We'll let Total Extract sit on the tire. In the meantime, we'll get our red rocket and we'll start cleaning the barrel of this wheel using Sticky Citrus Wheel Gel. Now, you guys can see how Sticky Citrus Wheel Gel not only foams up, so whenever you, you have a foaming wheel cleaner, it's going to add more lubrication, so every single time your nylon bristle brush is entering its wheel and it's actually cleaning, you're going to achieve a true clean, and nonetheless, you're not causing any scratches nor swirls, and you guys can see how dirty this wheel actually is. And I'll come back to my wheel bucket, I'll insert it at the bottom just so I can remove all the dirt and filth. Now, I don't know if this wheel does have any type of corrosion on it because it's not my car, so we'll find out once it's already clean. And if you need more lubrication, spray some sticky citrus wheel gel onto your brush, and whenever you start scrubbing it, you reactivate the formula. Or you can come back and get more water and just reactivate the formula like that. Now the Red Rocket, it's a brilliant brush to have inside your arsenal. The reason being is wheel cleaning goes further than just cleaning your wheels, the face of the wheel. The wheel cleaning is getting into the barrel, getting into the details, removing all the dirt and filth as well as brake dust away from the tires, away from the wheel. So like this you prevent corrosion, you prevent any type of harmful damages that might cause damage to your wheel. So now that we clean the barrel of the wheel, now it's time to clean the face of the wheel. And going back to choosing the right brush, so now that the brush is wet, you guys can see that the flag tip bristles are soft and they're not going to harm the wheel. So I'll get my sticky citrus, I'll spray some onto my bristle brush. And I have to be very generous, you need to keep this in mind. Your wheels as well as your car is an investment. So take your time to clean the wheels, get the true clean you want. Don't cause scratches and swirls, keep them looking amazingly. And one of my favorite things is sticky citrus wheel gel smells phenomenal. I mean, it goes on very smooth, it foams up amazingly, and if you need to come back for extra suds, get some water, and anytime water and sticky citrus come in contact, it foams up amazingly. And I like to get my bristle brush all into the spokes, get it easily in there, and achieve a true wheel clean. Not only is wheel cleaning fun, but it's fast and easy, and you could do it at home at any given time. So just check out those amazing suds. I'll come back for one last pass, get all the easy to reach areas before I get my next brush which is going to be using the boar's hair detailing brush. The boar's hair detailing brush, spray the bristles as well, come back to the lug nuts, and just get into the lug nuts, the valve stem, or anywhere where, unfortunately, the wheelie wheel brush did not get into. Like this, you achieve a true wheel clean, and you guys can see how phenomenal this wheel is actually going to come out using sticky citrus wheel gel and a pair of brushes that I am using today. 
I'm going all over. And now we're going back to the mistake number four, which is total extract. So total extract, I let it sit the very first coat. I'll get total extract once, once more. I'll spray it onto the tire once again. And now again, my much more stiffer brush, which is the, the big blue stiffy. I'll spray some onto my bristle brush. And now I'll go to the tire and I'll start scrubbing it. Now, a lot of people might say, why do you need to degrease your tires? And you're degreasing your tires goes just then further than just removing gunk, debris, tire blooming away from your tire. It goes further than that. A lot of people always comment down below, message us on social media. How do I make my tire shine last longer? My tire shine is not adhering. And that's why we're, we came out with Total Extract. Now, Total Extract is a cleaner that's going to remove all previous dressing, gunk, debris that is sitting on your tires. So like that, whenever you come back to apply your true tire shine, it's actually going to bond properly. It won't fail, it won't sling, it won't splatter everywhere. So always degrease your tires using Total Extract to achieve a true clean. And nonetheless, whenever you apply a tire shine now, it's going to bond properly. So you guys can see how Total Extract is foaming up. I'll come back to get more water just to remove the filth away from our bristles. Here's mistake number five that a lot of people actually run into. They'll clean this wheel, they'll run over to the next wheel and start cleaning that wheel, and you don't want to do that. That's mistake number five. You let the chemical sit on your wheel too long. Work on one wheel at a time. Once you're done working on a wheel, get your pressure washer, your garden hose, or any type of pressure, and rinse off the dirt or grime and debris, as well as the chemical. All right, guys, so you guys are a wonderful family. I love having you guys around. I love making videos for you guys. But one thing I want to show you guys is that this wheel bucket water actually started off clear. And you guys can see how much dirt and grime and debris, the water is now brown. That's everything that came off of this wheel. But I want to give you guys a extra pro tip that you should be doing and don't avoid this mistake whenever you're detailing wheels. So I walk over here because I actually have a pro blow. In the meantime, you guys can see the wheel. Now, dry your wheels after you're done. That's a common mistake a lot of people do. That's, that's Corey the Crow up there, but anyways, dry your wheels after you're done cleaning them. Even though you're gonna go re-wet the car, dry them up just so you can ensure, one, you have a true wheel clean, two, you're not gonna get water spots because a lot of people out there don't have filtered water, they have well water, the calcium is going to build up, it's going to cause water spots, now it's gonna cause an extra headache. Reduce that by using the Pro Blow. Now, the Pro Blow is a phenomenal tool to have in your detailing arsenal. One, it has a rubber tip on it, which is if you bang it up against your wheel, it won't scratch. Two, it has an amazing handle. And three, it's very easy to use, as well as a filter down below, so you won't be uh, blowing out any dirty air. So what you want to do is dry your wheel. It's fairly simple, top to bottom. Now, before you guys start commenting down below, this tire is still dirty? No, the answer is no. And that's Mr. Mustache right there. If you guys wanna see any more of his content, follow on Instagram at Mr. Mustache. But anyways, guys, before you guys start commenting down below saying that tire is still dirty, Before you guys start commenting down below saying that that tire is still dirty, the answer is no. This is how a tire is supposed to look once it's dry. And this is something that has no type of tire shine whatsoever so let me just finish drying up this whole entire wheel and tire and once i'm done i'll show you guys how fast and easy and fun it is to apply blue guard to your tires i'll be right back
right, so we just finished blowing off all the water away from the wheels and tires. And as you guys can see, I mean, just to start off with, the wheel has a night and day difference. I mean, it came in here dull, neglected, and it hasn't been cared for. And as well as the tire, the tire had tire blooming on it. But now I have a clean hand. If I rub my fingers on this tire, you guys can see that there's no dirt or filth coming off of this tire. This tire still looks dull. This is how a tire is supposed to look without tire shine. There's no more gunk, the tire is bare, and that is when you get to choose your right tire shine that you want to apply to your tire. And today, I want to apply something that's going to be shiny. I mean, it's been gloomy here in California, so I want something to be shiny, something that's going to be popping off of these tires. So I'll be using Blue Guard. Blue Guard is an oil-based dressing that not only can be used on vinyl, rubber, and plastic on the exterior, but you can use it all over your car on the exterior surface only. It is an oil-based dressing. It has been raining here in California. And here's a pro tip for you guys. If you guys encounter a lot of rain, I recommend going with an oil-based dressing because oil and water don't mix, so it's going to last much longer. Compared to something in the summertime here in California, I want something that's going to be much more subtle. The shine is going to be out, such as the sun. I want something more classy, not so flashy. That's when I'll be using something more like natural shine, which is a water-based dressing. But anyways, how do you actually use it? It's fairly simple. First off, put it into spray mode. And once it's already in spray mode, one or two things. You could spray it directly onto your tire or you could spray it directly onto your applicator. Now, I'll spray it directly onto my applicator. The reason being is I just cleaned this wheel and I don't want any overspray. So I want to prevent that. I'll get my blue guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Be very generous. I'll come to my tire and I'll just do this side. Just so you guys have a before and after. And you guys can see the difference between a tire that has been freshly coated with a premium oil-based dressing compared to a bare tire that has nothing on it. So you guys can see the night and day difference. I mean, this side, it's much more shinier. It's much more uh, reflectant. The reason being is because I am constantly pushing down on my applicator to work the tire shine into this tire. The reason being is this tire, I personally do not know when it was the last time it was properly coated. So what I like to do is whenever I'm dealing with any type of tire that's not my tire, I like to work it in. I like to massage it in, make sure it works throughout into, it works into all the pores so that at least I have even coverage. So now what I'll just do, I have excess tire shine here. You guys already saw the before and after. I'll go all over the tire. And now if I need more, I'll apply more. This tire looks like it hasn't been, nothing has been applied to it because the tire shine is just being soaked in. So I'll come back with a secondary application. One, two, three. I'll come back to this tire and apply a secondary application. So I'll just keep working it in. And you guys can see how we transformed this wheel and tire from it being super dull to it being fully coated. And now one of my favorite things is dry to touch. It's not oily. Nothing's coming off onto my fingers. I rub it on here. Nothing's coming off onto my fingers. That is because we went through a whole entire procedure of one, cleaning the wheels, degreasing the tires, and now applying the tire shine. So there you guys have it. Those are the five mistakes you might be doing when you're cleaning your wheels. I hopefully I clarified everything. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments down below and we'll make sure to answer them. And as always, if you guys want to pick up any of these products that I use today's video, you can hop onto our website right now, chemicalguys.com, or you can stop by your local detail garage. I recommend you do so. We have over 100 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passport shine with Chemical Guys.